Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Stu, and this is Slobbyland for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic, another scenario from Radrian 1994. Slobbyland used to be one of the best theme parks for children in the country. That was until some children went missing on the Slobby Castle attraction. The park has since been left in a state of disrepair. Can you convince the families to return? So there's a lot of mention of children and families there, so that could be a clue. Your objective, to have at least 1,000 guests in your park at the end of October, year two of a park rating of at least 600. So for anyone over a certain age in the UK, you'll instantly know what this is a reference to. For everyone else, I will explain it in due course. But for nosies, let's just have a look around. So we've got free entry, so we're charging for rides. We've got, what is that? That is, let's, a vintage car ride. Okay. Um, we've got a train going round. It's slightly broken. Uh, we've got some slime on the water. We can sell that for extra cash. And we've got a couple of, what are these? Slob, oh, hang on, box car racer, no, box car, soapbox derby racers. Okay, two of those. Um, so in, in the start, this it, it does mention children and families a few times. So I made the mistake of not realizing during the Terra Henk pack that um, one of the scenarios was uh, for guests prefer less intense rides. So that would be rides under four intensity. So I'm wondering if this has got that um lot of trees um okay so that's the land can we buy any more yes we can and there's a lot of it too and oh it's pretty cheap okay so i'm gonna wanna i'm gonna wanna build buy all that at some point um it's only a two-year scenario and it's only a thousand guests but that could be deceptively it could be deceptive. It might be more tricky than we think. Let's look at the rides. We've got the train. We've seen that. We've got some gentle rides. We've got those. We've seen that. We've got North Rail rides. We've got a boat. And we've got a good selection of shops to begin with. Right then. I'm going to put my research into thrill rides. Space is at a premium. And if we do have the the, the mechanic about guests prefer less intense rides the thrill rides will be will be quite handy to have so i think the first thing we need to do is start repairing the paths open up the rides check to see if anything needs fixing and um and yeah just just do that i think because it's only a short scenario i'm going to record everything and time lapse it and um yeah i'll explain the slobby land reference to you as well Okay, voiceover stew here. Um, so I think I made a bit of a mistake by doing time lapses on this video. Looking back at them when editing, um, they're just too long. And when I speed them up, you just can't see anything. So I've tried to find a happy medium, um, but I figured we'll do a voiceover anyway. And I can try and explain some of the things that maybe you can't see very well. But first, let me explain the reference that Slobbyland is. So back in the 90s, there was this TV show on in the UK called Noel's House Party. Now, Noel was a massive radio and TV star. Um, there's various people who would be known as uh, the king of light entertainment back in different different decades and for the 80s and 90s it was this guy so he started off as a dj in like the 60s and 70s and made his way onto then tv in maybe the 70s and 80s and then by the 90s then he was he had the the bigger show on a saturday evening on bbc one so you, you've all heard of the bbc so it's like the main channel and back then in the uk we only had four terrestrial tv channels so unless you had like a satellite dish or cable or something like that you most people only had the four channels so it was regularly pulling in like 15 million people which is about probably about a quarter of the uk population back then so they had it was set in this fictional mansion 
and they would have all these guests turning up and they'd have like wacky sketches and things like that and one of the things that they used to do was called gotchas and what they would do is they would it would be like a, a hidden camera show where they play pranks on celebrities and one of the popular pranks was the celebrities would be appearing on a TV show called Mr. Blobby. So Mr. Blobby was this guy dressed up in a suit and they, they, these celebrities thought they were going to be on a real TV show but in the end it just it was just Mr. Blobby doing everything wrong and making a complete fool out of everyone. Um, and so that's where the Mr. Blobby character came from and he became really popular with children and ended up having a Christmas number one and then having three, I think. Um, I'm not sure if they were full theme parks in their own right or just areas of theme parks or perhaps a mix of both. It was probably a mix of both. Um, anyway, they didn't last very long and in the end they kind of went out of business and they were all run down so that's that's basically where the slobby land reference comes from there was actual parks in the uk called blobby now crinkly bottom or whatever the, the the name of the park was but they were all based on this character called mr blobby and uh, i mean the tv show was it brings back a lot of you know fond memories it was something that most people watched you know at some point um, I remember they had one section on the show where they would have they would interview kids um, and then they would interview their parents separately and asking them like all sorts of embarrassing questions that their parents wouldn't want on telly and then in the end these kids would end up with a massive haul of toys and and games consoles and you know not just like one but they would end up with loads they'd have like October year one and we made a slight mistake when we started so this is this must be the slobby land castle then the the vintage car ride um and in in there it says that some children went missing so what I forgot to do is I forgot to check where the entrance exit was I mean so the exit was at the back and it was dropping guests into the void um so we moved it to the front yeah but um it's all done now I mean you know let's not not dwell on it too much so we've got the train running around we connected that up early we got the slide drop down a little three by three maze there guests loving that got the wonky house put down a load of shops and things like that oh why have I got so many balloons there okay never mind and um, we've got the pirate ship there called captain slobby um, we've renamed these to slomans um which is meant to be like a pun on le mans um does it work i don't know does it work i'll explain there's another reference there. i'll explain that later and then just around here then we've got slobberstone so um like a play on Silverstone. And um, we've got Joel's house party, because in this universe, in this version of the 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 RCU, the roller coaster universe, um, it was uh Joel Edwards, um, who Joel Edmonds, who had Joel's house party. So yeah, pretty cool so far. 620 guests. Money is no issue at all. I've started on the path around the outside of the train. Um, so I'm going to have to buy more land to to build more. Where, um, let's have a look. We researched all of the thrill rides. There wasn't a huge amount to come out. Um, so now we're researching roller coasters. We know I've got a cool design in the Virginia Reel in a 6x6. So we can put that down. And um, yeah, I think everything's going all right. Hopefully the next year will be pretty stress-free. Okay, voiceover stew is back. and I'm going to try and do a better job of keeping an eye on the counter so I don't overrun and I have to fade my voice down so that my other voice doesn't get interrupted. Okay, so I've explained in the first voiceover about where the whole sort of Slobbyland reference comes from. And I didn't really 
to tell you much about um, <laughs> what, what I was doing in the video. So now we're into year two. So we've done the first part. We we fixed the rides and the pathing and, and that sort of stuff. Now we're expanding outwards beyond. And so I've put down one of my six by six Virginia reels just down there called uh, Tiny Tab. So that's in the, the Route 66 playlist and the links up on RCT Go. So I'm now buying a lot of the land, keeping an eye on the guest counter as well, um, flattening bits out and terraforming and stuff like that. Um, so what are we up to now? So we're going to do another path because paths are key because you don't want guests to get lost and stuck. So it's, it's going to be a little path from the, from the entrance down connected up to where the the Virginia reel is. Tried to fit a mini golf in there, couldn't quite couldn't quite hit it. So a little mini coaster now. We don't want to go for anything too complex and we don't want obviously guests prefer um, low intensity rides on this one so the mini coaster isn't really that high intensity so it should be fine if the ratings up high they will go on something slightly out of their comfort zone so we've got the green arrow we're over 700 but it's around about now I'm starting to be a bit mindful because I know Radrian has, has tried to uh, trick us before with these scenarios. Um, I think it was the castle one where he had uh, harder guest generation on there. Um, and there is that on this scenario as well. So it's around about now where I'm starting to think, hang on a second. The guest numbers aren't really where I would expect them to be. So I'm, I've, got, I've got that in the back of my mind. I've been looking at the graph a couple of times and I'm, I'm starting to think, hmm, does that look normal? Um, but um, hopefully, I am hoping that this video is, I'm able to salvage this video because it's just such a shame that I, I, I thought, yeah, I'll do the, I'll do the time lapse because if it wasn't, if I didn't do the time lapse, what I would have done is I would have, because this is a short scenario, I would have, um, come back in in the middle of the years in the middle of year one to for an update in the middle of year two for an update and I could have updated you know here's where we are now I've noticed this problem etc etc but without the time lapses there's certain things uh, you just don't get you just don't get that like if I was to get rid of this time lapse now then the things I tell you in the end just don't really make sense so, I don't know. I've learned a lot from from this video. Um, the mistakes were made, and they were learned from. So, now, see, I'm looking at the graph, and I'm like, yeah, it's definitely. So, thankfully, I've got a six by six Virginia reel where that is uh, over two thousand feet, so it's suitable for harder guest generation. 29th of October then, only a couple of days to go, and I've resorted to some devious and underhanded means to ensure that we get the goal. I've put a no entry sign across the exit so guests can't leave the park. Um, so halfway through year two then, I was starting to get some suspicions that Radrian has once again put harder guest generation on a deceptively simple looking scenario um so i substituted the tiny tubs that i had here and we've done it stew there you go so i dropped in quite late on that because i wanted to get rid of that before it started affecting the rating and yeah there you go so the rating was starting to tank um so i swapped the tiny tubs for this one so now this one it's a virginia reel six by six but crucially it's long enough and exciting enough that it works for harder guest generation parks so i put one there and i put another one over there we can get rid of those now 
Um, I only put them there because I figured we had harder gas generation. And as soon as I put them down, or as soon as I put the first one down, you started to see the guest numbers going up. Um, so don't worry about them. I am going to complete the park. I'm going to carry on with the park. I've bought all the land. I don't know I am. I bought all the land where I needed to build at the start. I've got this little bit at the back. Um, so I'm going to buy all that. Um, I can take my time over it now that we've completed it. Um, so let's have a look. I was telling you earlier um, about these Slamans because um, the real life Noel, I think he not only did he enter, maybe he entered the team or he actually raced at some point in Le Mans, um, he's got like a couple, or he did have a couple of GT40s. Um, you know, interesting guy. I wouldn't agree with his political views. He's a bit of a colonialist, but oh well. Um, so yeah, so that's the, the Le, Le Mans reference. Um, over here then, let's turn scenery back on. We've got the slobby bug. Decent stats on that. So that the intensity, a little high on that but guests will go on it even though if you look the preferred ride intensity is less than four because the rating is so high they will go on something a little bit out of their comfort zone just like in parks where guests prefer um, intensity high intensity they will go on something slightly lower it's usually over the over nine they will go on something lower slightly lower providing that your ratings up high um i did start researching shops just in case uh, we got a cash point out, but I forgot to check. No, we haven't. So that's fine. Um, what else did we do? Oh, we've got a mini coaster just over here called Slobby Safari. It was a little slow on the route back, so I added this extra little chain lift. Now we've got plenty of time. I might go back in and edit this slightly. Um, but yeah, the first thing I'm going to do then is get rid of the Virginia reels here. Put tiny tubs back in this spot uh, and then buy the rest of the land and then we can go around decorating building more rides and, and that sort of thing june year six it wouldn't have taken me that long but what i did was i fast forwarded it just to see what rides came out from the research so we've researched everything now and so we've got some more transport rides we've got one of these, which is basically just a reskinned one of them from the expansion packs. We have put one of those down. Um, that's decent. We'd already researched these. Um, thrill rise, we'd already researched all those. Those are always good value and the shops as well. So in the end, we did get an ATM and it's just there. Okay then, so. Let's have a look. So I replaced the crooked house with that one. It's basically the same thing. It just looks a bit, a bit more in keeping with the park. Um, I put the roof on top of the castle just there and did that little thing with the mechanical blocks to make it look like a, an air duct. Um, added some little shops and seating areas just down there. Rejigged the mini coaster and it crashed whilst testing because i was too busy painting the cars and not looking at the track but it's fine now let's look at the stats on that decent so it just goes up a little bit higher so the cars just got a little bit more speed so i did have to add another little chain lift there but uh Makes me wonder why I bothered. And then, so we brought the path down here, terraformed all this bit down there. Um, got one of these flying saucers down there. Always good stats on them. Decorated it. Got tiny tubs back just down there. Little bridge over the track as well. Because I'm doing the path loop. Let's turn off scenery a second. Because I've did the path loop around the outside as well. So... At some point, you're going to get guests this side who are going to want to come to this side and vice versa. So adding a little bridge every now and then. So there's one there, there's one there, and there's one, uh, just a little tunnel there, just there. 
just means that you're less likely to get guests getting lost and stuck. And then we've got wooden coaster just there. Before I show you that, oh, come round, come round, come round. We extended the slobby bug. So the stats are a little higher. But again, the rating's up so high that they will ride that. So it just extends it a little bit. Not long enough for the harder guest generation, but uh, just a little bit longer as well. Got a little mini golf just down there just to fill some space. And then we got a little tunnel just going under the hill to connect up to the path there. And we've got a wooden coaster. Will the guests ride the wooden coaster, you're asking? Yes, they will. Although the queue is, queue is a little empty, but they will go on there. And if you look, 321 is the excitement. So what I've done is I've deliberately made it too short. So there is a minimum length requirement on these, and I've deliberately made it too short. Um, and then we've got a one of these, what are they called? River Rapids, I should know. I go blank. I do, I go blank. Um, decent stats on there. Yeah, guess loving that. Cool. And the train's broken down. Weird. So I hired a few more staff as well. Loads of mechanics, loads of handymen, that sort of thing, around the place, um, just to make sure it's all tidy and neat for the outdraw. Um, yeah, this, I've been looking back at the, the, at the footage editing and the, the time lapse. It doesn't really work. It's too long, I think. Um, but if I speed it up, then it's just too fast and you don't see anything. So I don't know. I think it was worth trying, but I don't think I'm going to do it again. Um, yeah, which is a shame because this has been this has been a fun scenario. It's looked really good. Um, I suppose it's quite cool the fact that it's a reference to something that I know from my childhood and. Um, yeah, so I think what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll I'll do some commentary maybe over the time lapses just to make break it up a little bit, make it a little bit less boring and make it maybe a bit more obvious as to what I'm doing in the bits where it's a bit too fast to see. So yeah, this was Slobbyland, another fantastic scenario from Radrian 1994. I will put the download link in the video description so check that out it'll be on rct go hope you enjoyed the episode if you did please like and subscribe and i'll see you soon bye